Okay. Good morning, everybody. Got the morning vlog. Um, I did it over here today. Well, I was over here on this side of town. I'm gonna walk and give you guys a a a, a view of um. Right now, I'm on Bushwick, in Bushwick, about two or three blocks away from Takashi Six Nine's house, right? And I'm gonna just show you real quick. I'm gonna go turn around real quick. That's the infamous Myrtle and Broadway right there. And um, once you pass Broadway, for people that ain't from this side of town, once you pass Broadway, you enter Bed-Stuy. So we on the Bed-Stuy, Bushwick borderline right now, all right? And I thought, since I was happen to be in this part of town today, it would only be right for me to do a blog talking about Takashi 69. And, um... You know, it's not my thing. If you watch my channel, I don't speak on other people or, or, or it's not my thing. My channel isn't about covering um, situations or, you know, what's viral at the time or none of that's not my thing. I spoke on I, I, fi I figured it was right to speak on it, being that I was going to be on this side of town. It's about eight o'clock in the morning right now. Look at what a beautiful day God has blessed us with. What I want anybody that watches this video to take from it is stay away from negativity. Okay? Look at look at the situation and how it went, it, you know, it just went it went crazy. It blew up, right? If God gives you an opportunity to come from a slum setting into a, you know, a large amount of money, you know, and you can you, you, you're put in a position where you can help you, yourself, your family, and others. It's your responsibility not to fuck that up. Okay? What the people around him should have been doing was guarding him like the Secret Service, getting him from the stew. When I say stew, if there's any square or green dudes watching this, I mean the studio. Getting him from the stew. To the concert, to the uh, uh, engagement, to whatever appointments he had to keep that were business and professional and positive, that's what they should have done. They should have protected him like the secret fucking service because he was the Mexican Puerto Rican goose that was laying the golden eggs. They should have got him from point A to point B, protected him, and... um. Enjoy the fruits of their labor. When you when you take a situation where you're blessed to get legitimate money and you come from the slums, you got to seize the moment, man. You dig what I'm saying? You hear me? You have to seize the moment. If they don't come along ever, hardly. So if you get one in a lifetime, you got to, man, you got you to gotta make it happen. You hear me? Once in a lifetime is like hitting the lotto. So if, if you don't take care of that right there and then, you know, who hits the lotto twice, man? You think what I'm saying? You hear me? You know, usually I put my face in the um in the um blog, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, this is the hood that he comes from. You think what I'm saying? I'm over here. It standing from this um angle right here, his his block is about, I say about Four blocks from here, five blocks from here. You think what I'm saying? He lives on Locust and Broadway. That's Broadway right down that way, where we just came from. From where we was on, on Myrtle and Broadway, he lives about four blocks. So this is the hood he comes from, that I come from as well. And like I said before, you ride on the, we ride on the borderline of Best Eye and Bushwick. Uh, Best Eye is a, a block away from here, literally like a block and a half from here. You dig what I'm saying? So I, I come from the Star, Bushwick, and Brownsville. And when I say Bushwick, I mean Ridgewood as well. Ridgewood borders Bushwick. I have lived in Ridgewood as well. So salute to all them hoods, man. But they're all close to each other. Bushwick is bordered by Ridgewood, Brownsville, uh, one real small side, East New York, Williamsburg, and uh, Brownsville is bordered by Bushwick. Flatbush, 
I think one real small part of Canarsie, East New York, Bed-Stuy, Crown Heights, and Bushwick. But we all close to each other. When, once you're in these neighborhoods, it's, it's not, it doesn't take you long to drive from, from one neighborhood to another. And I'd be all over Brooklyn or, and all over New York for that matter. But um, getting off the topic, man, I wanted to, you know, focus on, like I said, I don't do, usually do these blogs with Takashi 69 or superstars or, 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 you know, about stuff that's viral. I, I focus on, you know, what, what I, what I want to do with things that I want to focus on. But, um, you know, look at this beautiful morning God has blessed us with, man. You know, if you, if you blessed to be in the free world, man, and, um, you know, you know, do the right thing, man. Ain't nothing wrong with doing, doing the right thing is gangster, man. Who said that because we come from the slums, we got to be aggressive and run down on people with guns and, and, and shoot people and, and be mixy? Yo, Roach, man. Top of the top, baby. Top of the top, baby. <laughs> what up? You look good, man. Too, man. You good, man. God bless you. Good to see you, man. You I'm doing so well. I'm blessed, man. I'm over here getting get some coffee real quick, man. What's up with Mac? Mac, I ain't came to my shop the other day. Oh, yeah? Tell him I shouted him out, man. Tell, tell Mac I said I love him, man. All right. Enjoy your day. All right, bro. You know, we in the hood, man. This my hood. I come from um, a few hoods, so you're going to have to bear with me while I get this cup of coffee. But, um, yeah, man, like I said, man, just because you come from the hood don't mean... You have to engage in crime or negativity. That's a dub. Any any of the real realest gangsters will tell you that, man. Salute to OG Shaquille, man. I watched his um, interview the other day. He was so intelligent and well spoken, man. He he's he's a good role model, man. And if you notice, he said, you know, he he made it a point to tell you that just everybody in the game ain't your people or or ain't you know. They ain't on the right path or, or they ain't in the gang for the best of reasons, you dig? People join gangs for different reasons, you dig? There's a lot of bozos in gangs, straight like that. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I said it. You know, I don't hide my face either. You see my face. And I'm not, not a tough guy, but I, I will always tell the truth, man. Fuck it. But there's a lot of suckers in gangs and... um. There's also great people in gangs that I love. You dig what I'm saying? And a gang just means a group of people. The police is a gang. The government is a gang. You know. So don't don't get um carried away, you dig? But um you know you know there's a lot of bozos in gangs, man. And like I said, there's a lot of a lot of real gangster, good, great people in them. I got a, I got a, a, a person I love like a son that's in Denimora right now. He, you know, he he he, he um he's big B. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get into into the details, you know. But I write him all the time. I love him like a son, a brother. You know, I consider him family. I got people's in NBC. I got people all over the state, man. I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna show all the mail I got from jail. So y'all can see this ain't no Chuck. You hear me? But if you are fortunate enough to be blessed with a legitimate way to make money, don't mess it up. Don't drop the ball, man. You hear me? How much are you, my brother? One fifty. All right. Here you go. But yeah, man, that's what it is, man. And let, and let me tell you something. Like I said, I be running. Around, I run around all over the place. I know a lot of people out here, man. I'm well known in a few hoods, man, for the right reasons. You hear me? Thank you. Have a good day. You understand what I'm saying? And um, and um, you know, do the right thing. Exactly. Th thank you, OG. You're welcome. All right. Do the right thing, man. See, it's nothing wrong with being good to people and being respectful, man. You know, that could that could get you far in life, man. All that mean mug and extra shit, that's that's a dub. I don't know one I I ran with a bunch of killers, man. And all of them had uh, kept smiles on their faces. My man Monty always had a smile on his face. Rest in peace. My nigga show was always smiling and laughing. You dig what I'm saying? All the killers I know with the with the exception of one or two. Because they there do be killers that are just hot homicidal fucking maniacs. 
But the killers I'm talking about with is was good dudes. They would just give it to you if you wanted it. You dig what I'm saying? It's a difference between a psychotic maniac killer that kills for no reason, you know, serial killer type shit, and a person who kills in self-defense and only when he has to, you know, or defends himself, you know? But you out here, these streets are savage, man. So, you know, it makes, it, it turns you, you know, it could bring the worst out in you, man, or the best for that matter. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you know, God bless, listen, God bless Takashi 69, man. I don't listen. I said I said this the other day. He's he's a a, a a a boy to me, a young man. I'm old enough to be his father. I'm old enough to be a few of these dudes' father. That that's that's in this uh, in that situation. You do you dig? And I pray for them as such. And I and and and, and um, I care about them from a fatherly standpoint, from a fatherly way of thinking. And you know, free all of them, man. I don't want to see nobody in jail. You see how you be seeing him and dudes say, oh, yo, free this guy, but keep this guy. Nah, man. You know, you that don't make you, you it, if you a gangster, you supposed to not wish jail on no fucking body. I don't care who it is, man. You hear me? If it's, if it's a dude that's a piece of shit, then, you know, you just put the put the action on him. Get him up out of here. <laughs> you got to have him in jail. Why waste the tax taxpayers hard earned money? You hear me? But I don't let me. I don't want to get into that. They might. They might dub me on YouTube for tell you. Yo, this guy's crazy. What's he, what's he talking about? You hear me? But yeah, man. Listen, Takashi Six Nine, man. Use him and the and the situation he was in as what the blueprint, what not to do. You dig what I'm saying? What not to do, man? You dig what I'm saying? And as far as um Shadi is concerned, right? I think Shadi got a lot of bad uh uh, uh rap. I think that people were pushing a lie about him sleeping with Takashi's woman. And anything that you are not sure of is a rumor. Anything that is not 100% uh, sure or the truth or proven is a rumor. So if you out here running around jacking that he was doing this, that, and the third, you a sucker. Only a sucker does shit like that. You hear me? But, um, you know, free shoddy, man. You know, he, he seemed like a dude that was, that was about his business. And he was letting it go, too. You dig what I'm saying? So free shoddy. Free the guys, man. Free Melly. I'm from the star. I lived on Ralph and Jefferson for, for a good 12 years. I got about a good, easily 20-something years of my life in the star. Because even when I didn't live there, I was always out there. Free LG. Shout to Shaq. Shout to Brett. My nigga Terrell. You dig the whole, everybody from my, my, my nigga Kali. Jamal. You hear me? Nietzsche. Free Shaq. You, you know, uh, uh, rest in peace EP. Rest in peace Dave Welch, man. Dave Welch, I love you, man. To the Welch family. Rest in peace to um my father and the, and the legendary Lamont Valerie, a.k.a. Money, AKA Money Balls, man. Him and my legendary pops. You hear me? They was a sick duo. You hear me? I'm going to go over there and, and, do, and do some stuff over there, too. You hear me? But, um, yeah, man, I love you guys, man. Have a blessed day, man. Zeke, I see you, homie. You know, I'm proud of you. I pray you get them thousand subs real quick. And that's what, it's, that's what it is, man. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to do, a, I'm, gonna do a, um, I'm getting this uh, documentary footage together, like I said, for the TMP joint. And um, on uh, Saturday, I'm going to do my, doc, my uh, documentary list for the week. And we're going to keep it pushing, man. If, if, if you, you, um, Come across this video, subscribe, man. We're gonna get it rocking, man. You hear me? I got music that I'm getting ready to rock, rock out with. I got a lot of things in store, man. I love y'all, man. And if you have anything you want to be, you know, you want me to talk about or, be, or touch on, uh, sh uh, shout me out, man, and I'll make it happen for you. God bless you.